Hi, I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my top picks for Disney small shops. I've got some really lovely ideas for bits and pieces if you're heading to Disney or on a Disney cruise for bits you might want to wear, for gift ideas, or just things for yourself to add a sprinkle of Disney magic to your day. I've also got a lounge fly bag to share with you, which I'm so excited about. Have a look at that. Plus one or two bits from Shop Disney too. So if you're new here, I'd love to have you as part of my Disney family. So please do subscribe and hit that bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. We are going on the Disney Magic Cruise staycation this summer so there's loads of planning for that plus we're hoping to book Florida for 2022 so they'll be planning for that too and then the actual vlogs when we get to go plus loads and loads of Disney hauls and I've got loads of Disney bounding content coming. So if you're interested in ideas of what to wear to Disney parks or on Disney holidays or cruises, or indeed to just add a little sprinkle of Disney to your day, make sure you are subscribed. Now let's start by taking a look at some of my top picks from small shops that do Disney. The first items I've got to show you are lanyards. I've bought lanyards for each of the six of us to go on the Disney Magic at Sea cruise because then we can hold our key to the world cards, which are the cards that you use to get into your rooms, but also they have where you're dining on them and you use them for paying for any extras like buying alcoholic drinks or any other things like that that you want charged to your room. I just wanna start by saying how lovely the packaging is when you buy from small shops, they really do take that extra bit of care. All of these bits, by the way, if you want to pick any of them up, I will link below. So the first item is a lanyard and it is a Belle Beauty and the Beast lanyard for my daughter, Bella. She loves Beauty and the Beast. And this one is so beautiful. I narrowed it down to a few online, choose a few that I thought the children might like, and Bella went for this out of the options I found for her. It's also got a beautiful little rose charm on the end of the lanyard. I have bought the little plastic card holders that go onto these separately. I think I picked those up in an Amazon travel haul over on my main channel, so you can go and check that video out later if you want to see those. And then for my daughter Zara, she really likes Cinderella. Blue is sort of one of her favorite colors, which is why I think she likes Cinderella so much. She also almost went for Jasmine. She almost went for Tink, but then she did land on Cinderella. She almost went for Rapunzel as well. Both of these I think were from the same seller, but they are all linked below and you can find all the prices and links and everything like that in the description. And that came in a lovely little blue gift bag. Then I couldn't decide, I couldn't commit to one princess. So I have gone for this one which is multiple princesses. So we've got Cinderella, Tiana, Belle, Aurora, Ariel, and Snow White all on one lanyard. So I'm rather pleased with that. I figured whichever princess I happen to be Disney bounding at that day, chances are she's on this lanyard. Then William, my younger son, is really into Star Wars. So he has got a Star Wars lanyard and this one's got what well, says Star Wars on it and then it's got let's see I don't know dark side people so that's a stormtrooper the guy with horns on his head from the first Star Wars not the first Star Wars but the first episode you know the ones that they made before the first ones episode one Darth Maul is that his name and then we've got Yoda I know him and Darth Vader I think I did pretty well there and some little dude up here that I don't know anyway William I'm sure will be absolutely thrilled with that then my teenage son is really into Avengers this one's actually got um like a separator thingy on it. What's it called? A safety? Not all, I'm sure not all the others do. Yeah, none of these other ones have this safety uh, breaker thing. So if that's something you're looking for, then bear that in mind. But this Avengers one does. And then for my husband, a little bit of a joke between Daddy of Four and myself in that I call him Peter Pan because I believe he will never grow up. So obviously I had to find him a Peter Pan lanyard. So we've got Captain Hook, Peter Pan, Wendy, Tink. Incidentally, I'm kind of channeling Tink today. I've got some Tink jewellery that I had as a little bargain in my Shop Disney haul, the most recent one. I got Tink on my watch. Let me know if you need me to show you guys, by the way, how to get Disney characters on your watch that are not there as standard. Let me know if you want me to do a little video, or maybe something over on my Instagram for that, because I'm not sure if everyone knows how to do that. And then this last lanyard, yes, we've already had six, and they're the six that I'm packing, but this one is for my keys, as in just my normal keys for going back and forth. Nothing holiday-ish, just for me, really. And if you have followed me for a little while over on my main channel, you may know that I'm slightly obsessed with Julie Andrews, specifically in The Sound of Music, one of my favorite films ever. Not Disney, but it is now on Disney+, and also 
Mary Poppins, where she is practically perfect in every way. And when parenting is challenging, I do channel Mary Poppins. I attempt to channel her and sing a spoonful of sugar in my head. So I've got this amazing Mary Poppins, practically perfect, in every way, tape measure, you know from the bit of the film where she measures the children and Jane is rather inclined to giggle, doesn't put things away and Michael is extremely stubborn and suspicious. How amazing is that? It's also got the rather lovely little umbrella. I love it, that's gonna make me happy every time I have to grab my keys. Now the next item, you might think, what's that for eh? It's just like a little tape. Now this is an ear holder. It's a princess, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, whatever, park ear holder. So when you take your ears off your head, you can clip them on your bag. <gasps> I'm gonna have to show you my bag now, aren't I? So that I can show you how the ear holder works. So, nice little segue. I'm very lucky to have been gifted this stunning bag from Very Nico. So thank you so much for them sending me this bag to share with you and to use myself because I'm rather thrilled with it. Look how beautiful that is. My daughter Bella is obsessed with Beauty and the Beast. And okay, did I call her Bella a little bit because it sounds like Belle? Maybe a little bit. Belle's probably always been my favorite Disney princess too. So this bag is just beautiful. It's got embroidered roses, like the enchanted rose, a couple of little singing birds. This is the stained glass from the picture at the end where Belle and the Beast is no longer a beast. So we've got then Mrs. Potts as a human, Cogsworth and Lumiere as humans. And then if you look on the back, see I haven't used it yet. I said I'd share it with you before I kind of actually used it. We've got the Enchanted Rose, can you see that? Just says The Enchanted Rose. Undo these straps and have a little look, shall we? I've been so excited to use this bag. Just like, I must film the video very quickly so I can start using my new bag. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I think I'll have to shorten the straps a little bit. Oh, look at that. So stunning. So very Nico. I will link them below. They have a special members only club where you get these Loungefly bags available early to buy. And then within that club, then you get discounts and things as well. So I'll leave all the details for that below. If you're a little bit of a lounge fly addict, it's definitely well worth a look, especially if you are looking for the new season drops before they're available to the general public. Because yes, these bags, they're not just bags, they're kind of collectible pieces of beautiful Disney art, are they not? Let's have a quick look inside the bag and then I'll show you the ear holder thing. Which I haven't tried yet, actually. Ah, oh, so inside, actually, we've got a little pouch there. That would kind of be good for just, like, your phone or something so that you could find it. It's actually got these two little pouches on the side too, which is really handy. So for something you need to grab really, really quickly while you are out to the parks or heading around the ship, wherever it might be, or just, you know what, back and forth the school run. I will absolutely be using this back and forth the school run, not only because it's just stunning and will make me happy, but because my shoulders are so dodgy. Again, this is something I've talked about on my main channel. But having had four children, I'm, I have to have physio quite frequently because I've got like dodgy back and things. Carrying a bag on one shoulder, not good for your back. So back to using two straps will really help my back as well. So I love that. I'm, I just love it, love it, love it. I am going to be doing a lot of Disney bounding content coming up. And I think the first princess we're going to look at, at lots of different ways to Disney bound, will be Belle. I think we'll look at Belle first because she is one of my faves. So we'll look at ways to Disney bound as Belle in the yellow dress and Disney bound as Belle in the blue dress. If you're looking for lots of inspiration for everything from like quite subtle, you know, like, like today, subtle out and about kind of stuff, right up to heading to the parks, Disney bounding. Stay tuned for all of that. Make sure you're subscribed. So thank you very much, very Nico. I love it. So I've got some ears and I threw my thing on the floor. Like, ah, there it is. So the idea is with this, and I will link this below as well, is you can just attach your ears if you're kind of a bit fed up of wearing them on your head. And then you've got your ears attached to your bag. You're not going to lose them. They could go behind you like this, kind of behind your back or sort of on display on top of your bag there. That would work better if I had bell ears, wouldn't it? On the bag. I do actually have bell ears. So if you're looking for an ear holder or you didn't know you needed an ear holder in your life, maybe you do need an ear holder in your life. I don't know. Do you need an ear holder in your life? On to some really beautiful jewellery items. Not only are these packaged beautifully and a really nice way to support small businesses, but some of these were an absolute bargain. This was £3.75. Now I won't put prices for absolutely everything because I'm not sure whether they'll change or fluctuate. All of the prices will be 
when you click on the link through below, but I just thought this one especially was a real bargain. So this is a little Tiana necklace. We've got the green for Tiana's dress and perhaps to represent a frog. We've got an actual literal frog and the little crown from when she is in fact a princess. To go with that, we have this bracelet. Now this is quite small. I've got quite small wrists, but not necessarily small hands. So this is a bracelet that you kind of squeeze here to make larger to get on. I know this would fit my girls really easily, but I'm gonna, let's see, I can get it over my hand. I have tried this on. It's fine now it's on because my wrists are quite little, but not terribly easy to get on and off. So I'm not sure whether they do different sizes in this one, but just keep it in mind that this particular bracelet is quite petite. This one's got a frog, the green like on the necklace, the princess crown, but also the broom. Then from the same seller for the same absolute bargain price, I've got this really beautiful Mary Poppins necklace. So this one's got the spoon for the spoonful of sugar, Mary Poppins little umbrella, and the blue to represent the dress and her coat, I guess. I just love that though. And these pieces of jewelry are just really dainty. They're not expensive, so they make really nice gifts for yourself or for someone else. And you can just add a little tiny touch of Disney in a really subtle way in your normal day-to-day -day clothes without screaming, I'm heading to the parks. Although you could add it to an outfit that screams, I'm going to the parks too. Then I've got this Aurora bracelet. I was convinced I had a necklace to show you to go with this too. Can't find it right now. Anyway, it was very similar to the other necklaces. Oh, found it. Here it is. So this is the Aurora necklace, also an absolute bargain price, just £3.75. It's got the spinning wheel, the crown, and the pink. So that necklace and bracelet set go beautifully together. There's another quite petite bracelet, so just keep that in mind if you're ordering. If you've got quite little hands and wrists, that's fine. Or perhaps there might be a bigger size option to check out for. Next, we've got some more detailed charm bracelets to show you. These cost a little bit more but they were not by any means expensive for what they are and the work that's gone into them. So this tangled bracelet has got her hairbrush, the chameleon, I think that's like a little lizard, but it's supposed to be the chameleon, isn't it? The tower, the frying pan she used to hit Flynn Rider, the little lilac-y crystals like her dress, a sword from the battling, I guess? The sun from the motif, which goes throughout the film, her princess crown, the horse's head. What is the name of the horse in Tangled? Can anyone remember? I want to say Philippe, but that's Belle's horse. What is the name of the Tangled horse? And then we've got her art brush supplies as well from when she's wondering when will her life begin. Now, obviously on the Disney Magic at Sea cruise, there is the Tangled restaurant, which is Rapunzel's Royal Table, I think. So we will absolutely be Disney bounding as Rapunzel for one of the days of the cruise. And I will be rather thrilled to wear this bracelet to go with my little Disney bound, but do make sure you're subscribed so you can catch up on all of the Disney bounding action and the ideas for what you might wanna wear on your next Disney trip. The next small shop bracelet I have to show you is Ariel. And again, this is the same kind of clasp, which would be easier to get on and off. This one's got the seashell. We've got the fish, just to represent flounder and the general under the sea. A crown from when she's a princess. Octopus for Ursula. We've got a crab for Sebastian. A little fork, a little dingle hopper. Is that, that's what she calls a fork, isn't it? The dingle hopper for brushing her hair. And a boat as well for the sea. Oh, and actually, there is a little mermaid on this bracelet. That's just better to try it on to show you. I'm not sure that I'm doing this justice. So I just love that it's all handmade by the little small shop on Etsy. Oh, it's actually got a little chest on there as well. Can you see that? Little chest of Ariel's treasures. Now there is actually, um, I think it's a bar on the Disney Magic at Sea. It's not a restaurant called, is it Titans? Titans, Titans? that um, I'm assuming is under the sea themed. So perhaps Ariel Disney bounding down there is the answer. Ooh, it's also got a musical note to look, didn't even notice that. This has got so much detail on it, it's lovely. Musical note to represent her singing. Oh. And then we've got Mary Poppins to go with my necklace. So I think these were from, were they from different sellers? What I'll probably do is pop together a blog post and in that I will put who the seller is and link to those sellers. So you can have a look at the rest of their collections as well if you like their style of jewelry. So on the Mary Poppins bracelet, we've got her tape measure. We've got a chimney sweep, 
her umbrella, we've got the blue and black for her dress, we've got a spoonful of sugar, we've got her magic handbag of tricks, we've got Big Ben because it's set in London. I absolutely wanna be Mary Poppins when I grow up. Then if you're into Cinderella, this is my top pick for a Cinderella necklace and it's just beautiful. This is a slightly longer chain and this one has got a little shoe for Cinderella's glass slipper. It's got the pumpkin carriage and this really gorgeous like bluey like pendant on it. That is just beautiful. And then the packaging on this one is, look at that, so pretty. It's got a little pouch inside as well. So from a gifting point of view, this one is fabulous. And this is our Elsa necklace and it's got an important message on it that I think we all need to remember sometimes. And that is sometimes we just have to let it go. And we've got let it go engraved on here. We've got the little blue for Elsa's dress and we've got a snowflake. So just lovely, lovely gift for yourself or somebody else. And especially if you've got children that will enjoy wearing jewelry more and more as they grow up. Can you ever have enough Disney jewelry to share with your children? I don't think so. Now we've got some t-shirts from small shops. So this one is yellow and I want adventure in the great right wide somewhere. Now they actually had this in blue too and after I ordered it, I thought, well, should I have ordered it in blue? Because when she's singing, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. And of course by she, I mean Belle. She's wearing her blue, isn't she? So is that more of a Disney bound as Belle when she's blue? But then I ordered the Elsa one and that was blue. So I didn't want too many blue t-shirts. So I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. That can just be styled in like a really casual way with a bit of denim and the bag. See, how fab, how fab is that? For like a little hint of Disney bounding without being too literal in more of a like a, a t-shirt and kind of casual kind of way as opposed to more of a color blocking kind of way. I am filming a video coming up very soon so make sure that you are subscribed and so you get notified when that goes live explaining exactly what Disney bounding is and all the tips for how to achieve it from like a little hint of it up to going full out. Then the next t-shirt, I will try some of these on in a second. We've got Let It Go in Elsa's blue. And then this one I haven't taken out of the packet, so I know this is from Castle Club. But like I said, they're all kind of linked below. <sighs> it's Tangled Best Day Ever. I think they have this in a lighter purple as well. I think I meant to order the lighter purple, but I actually quite like that too. What do you think? Should that have been a lighter, more lilac-y colour? Still, I do love it. And that's actually got, as well as the best day ever, it's got the tangled lanterns with the sun motif. And then just two things I want to show you from Shop Disney, and then I will try those t-shirts on so we can see what the fit is like. In one of my other Shop Disney hauls, I showed you some swim shorts that I bought for Will. I had to return them and get a smaller size. So I just kind of wanted to report back on that. I bought him nine to 10 because he he is nine but he's super skinny and they just literally fell off him so I went for a seven to eight and to be honest these are only just small enough on the waist so if you've got a super skinny child I'm gonna say you need to size down on the shop Disney shorts because they this bit's like fake if you know what I mean so you can't pull that in it's just kind of for show so just wanted to report back on that so you could keep it in mind. And then, yes, I did have a discount code. I always managed to find a discount code by stalking the Shop Disney uh, Instagram and signing up to their emails. For this, the girls had bags that I bought in a Georgia Asda Disney haul. They already had a little bag, but this I thought would be really cool for Will. I showed him on the website to see what he thought beforehand and he was quite pleased with that. Big enough to just put a little drink inside. I mean, I totally use that bag as well, but I feel it's kind of gender neutral because it's kind of a primary color bag. If you're looking for just a little kind of an inexpensive bag, then that might be a good option. Now let's try on a couple of these t-shirts and see what we think. So this is the blue Let It Go t-shirt. This is a size extra small. They're unisex sizing, so this is the smallest size they had. It sort of fits on my hips. It's a little bit bigger perhaps than I'd normally choose here, but I don't think that's the end of the world. But perhaps it could be like this, or pinched up, tied at the side or the back to kind of pinch it in a little bit. But I do love it. And that will go beautifully with the Let It Go necklace. 
So this is the best day ever t-shirt. This is a slightly different fabric to the Let It Go t-shirt. It's kind of a smoother fabric, although I thought these were from the same people. They're all linked below anyway, but just so you kind of note, this one is kind of like a smoother fabric. Does that make any sense? Really like it though. I thought I ordered um, a lighter color, but I actually really like this color. Again, this is an extra small, fits here a little bit. It's okay there, it's not too huge. Perhaps this is a slightly different cut of a t-shirt. And then we've got the yellow, I want to venture in the great wide somewhere t-shirt. I think, is this my favorite? I don't know which one's my favorite. Which one do you like best? I do love this though. Maybe it's just because I like Belle so much. Also, how cool is the I want adventure in the great wide somewhere t-shirt with the bag? So I hope this video has given you some ideas for some Disney small shop purchases for gifts for someone else or indeed for yourself. Go on, treat yourself, you deserve it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell to turn on notifications whenever I upload new videos. There are videos that you may enjoy all around me. Select one and enjoy. See you guys soon. Bye.